Okay, hi everyone. Um, so today we're going to be learning how to create a database for Affinity Publisher. And what I want you to do is variable data printing. Okay, so if you have multiple business cards, loyalty membership cards that you want to create, um, which just have different users, um, customers or employees, and you don't want to manually in input this into every single um, card and have to print it manually because that obviously takes time then this is the right video for you. So here we can see there's different categories and here's all the variable data. Our customers struggle a lot with the images okay and I want to basically just show you how you can um, implement this quick and easily okay. So I designed our staff photos on um, Canva and I just used one of their um, templates and I downloaded it as a PNG. Um, so I just downloaded it and I went to my folders, um, downloads, and I just extracted the zip file. So I left clicked on it and um, I extracted all and then it created a staff folder for me. Okay, so just make sure that when you're doing a database that all of the images are PNG or JPEG, it mustn't be both. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do this. I'm going to delete that. I want to copy the image's text, so I'm going to left click on the folder, copy address's text. Sorry, go in here and control, control V over there. Okay, and then I'm going to say dot PNG. Okay, I want you to forward. Um, slash it okay behind after staff or after your folder um, then what I want you to do is basically create a formula and we do concatenate okay so I'm using Google Sheets it's much more affordable than any other software than Microsoft okay so I want you to use the folder that we have the unique identification number and the PNG so you can use um, their names but sometimes you make mistakes and um, this can be quite problematic so I want you to put dollar signs in front of this because these um, specific ones do not change okay whereas the ID number changes and that stays the same okay so you absolutely reference it then I want you to pull it down all the way down there okay so it's a PNG uh, but now you can see it's a formula, so that is a problem. You want this to be text, okay, so that you can copy it over for CSV and export it um, where you can um, implement it for your business card. So what I want you to do is go to shift control and press down, control C, okay. Then I want you to go shift control V, okay. So as you can see now, it is as text, okay, so when you export it, um, your computer will know where to find it, okay, which is very important. Um, okay, I want you to just delete all of that, and now we are done, okay, so um, that's pretty good. I'm happy with this, and what I want you to do is download it as a CSV, okay. So now we're going to go into Affinity, just ignore all of this, I'm going to make a new design okay so I've chosen the business card over here but as you can see it's an American style so I'm gonna make it 86 enter by 54 okay and I want it to be 300 dpi in millimeters and I want it to be landscape then um, I want to change this to CMYK the color format your margins must be three and your bleed must be three. Okay, so the bleed is important because it ensures that your card machine does not cut off your business card when it prints, so your design won't be cut off. Okay, I want you to say create. Okay, so the purple bit over here, three millimeters, is the bleed, and this is your margin with the blue bit. I want you to create your design within the region over here. So I'm just going to create a basic design. Um, I'm going to create a Picture frame rectangle tool for the image of my staff members. Okay, I'm then going to input the logo by copying it from an image. Um, so, control V. I'm just going to scale it down by clicking control and scaling down. Please select the move tool to move it up. 
and around. Mm, so I'm just going to use yeah, the affinity tool as a line to help guide me. Then what I want to include, um, as I've shown in my database, is name, ID, position, email. Okay. So I'm going to include this. I'm going to use the frame text tool. It's much easier for me. Um, what I want you to do is make sure that it is in within um, those brackets so that your software knows that this information um, is variable. Okay. Control C, Control V, position. Okay, the little eye tells you that um, it's not being visible, so you need to show it. So you control V, and then we're gonna make this email. Okay. Okay, so I want to position this accordingly. Okay, so 4.9. Nine and four point nine. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, then I'm just going to include the ID number over here. Just gonna move it so it's like more in line. I like that, like that, and yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna implement that as ID number. Okay. Then, cool. Okay, so this is very basic design. Um, you can obviously make it prettier with shapes and anything that you would like to include um, with affinity. I just want to go to document. Um, sorry, before I do that, I want you to select the state merge layout tool. Okay, I want you to select your whole card. Okay, to the bottom. Okay, just snap it to the bottom. The row must be one and the column must be one. Okay, so this is how we do variable data. Okay, so this ensures that um, all of this information will be regenerated for every single um, employee. Okay, great. So now I've created my data merge um, layout. Then what I want you to do is make sure that all of these um, variable data go into the data merge layout. Okay, so I want you to position it into it name and the picture frame. Okay, I don't want you to put the logo in because that's not a variable data, it's just static. Um, then I want you to go into document data merge manager and I want you to select the sheet okay, that you downloaded, which is sheet three database. Open it. Um, so you can choose a range of records that you want to select. So if you don't want all eight employees, you can make it five or four, whatever you um, select. Um, I just want you to close that for now. I want you to go into view, studio, fields. Okay, so here um, we are able to plot um, what the variable data is. Okay, so I want you to double click so you highlight it and double click here so that the name is um, issued. Okay, I want you to double click, then click position. I want you to double click, then click email. Then double click, click ID number. Okay, so as you can see, this one changed, um, but all of them are quite similar. Then I want you to change the image as well, so double click on that. Okay, now exit all. So now you can see that this card is variable, and um, now we can start plotting and planning um, all your different staff members. Okay, so what I want you to do, go, to do is go to Documents, Data Merge Manager, and I want you to click Generate. All right, so it basically just tells you your document has been generated automatically. I want you to close that. Okay, so as you can see, um, it is now generated. Okay, so. Um, this little eye is just telling me that um, the text was too big, okay. So all you can do is just go through it um, and make it 8, um, just make it a bit smaller. So if you ever want to adjust the text as well, you can just go here and you know, we we like later, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the motherboard again. I'm just going to make sure that this is all later. 
Okay, enter. So as you can see, the text changes. Later. Later. And later. Okay. Sorry, what did I do there? Sorry. <laughs> later. Okay, great. So I'm happy with that. I just want to make this email much smaller. I want to make it at least eight. Okay. And the name I'm happy with. All I want to do is just make it a bit bigger. Probably up to there. Probably up to there. And probably up to there. Okay, great. So I'm happy with that. Then I'll go back to Document Data Merge Manager and generate it again. Okay. So you regenerate it. It just produces a new document. Um, so as you can see now, all the information is generated nice and neatly um, with your font that you chose. Okay, so this is just a basic design. Obviously, it doesn't look as nice as I would want it to be. I'm just showing you how it's done. Okay, so what I would want you to do now is once you're done with this, I want you to export it. So file export as a PNG, sorry, as a PDF. Um, and I would like you to choose digital small size, okay? I want you to make this 300 dpi, okay? And I want you to include the, ble the bleed. Um, so I'm just going to do the current spread right now and I'm going to export it. I'm just going to save it as business card and say yes. So I'm just going to wait for it to show me. Okay, so as you can see, I've just done the first card and um, the bleed and the margins have been included. So when I print this card, it's going to um, obviously be printed perfectly onto the PVC card. And um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So what I would do then now is I'd print it automatically from here. Um, and yeah, so that, that's it. And I hope that this helps. And you can easily design all your cards here. And if you wanted to design the back, you would print the front first, and then you can design the back card if it was a variable data or if it was just normal. Then you could just manually just put the logo on the back. Um, but you would have to design another card. So you'd print all the fronts and then you'd print the backs, normally having a dual-sided printer, okay. Um, which will make life much easier for you.